model where we left last time. Speed up. And you can see the cars are coming and leaving the model and every car have three options to take depending upon the probability we set now today's objective is to extend this model and make it more crowdy so that cars will enter from all the three sources as well and then we will introduce the traffic light in our small intersection okay so let's proceed i'll stop this model for now this is our network and below here is the logic um, it is preferred to have a, um, to have a very clean flow diagram so you can easily understand it and try to reuse the blocks if possible for example there is no need to create different car, car dispose block we will use the same car dispose block let's go back to our traffic library road traffic library and as we have one car source we need three more car sources so we'll drag one and two and three okay so we have three car sources let's rename them coming from the right and then left car source from top top car source just drag it a bit and the last one is bottom so we have all the car sources possible right now we have to link them for every source we have same three options so i need the same output it was available in material handling library here it is output five one for this source another one for this source and another one for this source see it's getting complex so i'm just make, pulling it down a bit no need to link now and this one will come here Uh, as you can see for the left car we need a move to right bottom which is not available so we will take a car move to block here because we need it no need to connect them Oops. rename this we can rename from here or we can rename from here car move to right okay and which side of the road it is if it is coming from the left side then by right i mean this one car move to here this one and end of backward lane right so i will make the connections rest will remain same top and bottom will will be same for the left car source for top car source we will connect it with the left right and bottom the bottom car source will be connected with the with the top left and right rest will remain the same i'll finish it to save some time We modify our logic, traffic flow logic, and now it will look like this. It's little long, but I try to make it clean so there will be no ambiguity in it. Okay, we have our four sources, right car source, left car source, top car source, bottom car source. And I have linked all the routes according to the logic which we have created. I link all the routes. 
okay now we will check either it is working properly or no build and run the model Let's speed up a bit okay now what happens car failed to change the lane uh, we are having an exception here because uh, as you see cars have different option and sometimes it is in the middle of changing the lane and uh, don't have much time to change the lane so such kind of exceptions happen how to solve this kind of problem i purposely make this uh, mistake so that we can discuss how we this kind of problem can be solved just close the model and come here see uh, with every car move to block there is another uh, port available which is which is a uh, way not found port for example if you want this car to go to left and it is unable to make this decision in that case what will happen it will change its way to some somewhere else okay so uh, we will accommodate like if it's unable to go to top then i will connect this top with the with the left unable to go to the bottom then go to the left and uh, similarly i want it to go to right and way not found port i am connecting it with with the right move to right we not found now you can see that i have entertained all the we not found ports as well according to the best possible option okay now let's our model run our model and see either it is making any difference speed up okay at least we are not getting any exception mm, it is little crowdy and congested so how can we solve this problem we have to install the traffic light here right the first exception which we were having earlier it's gone now but as the traffic is not flowing properly there are some congestion so we will install the traffic light let's stop the model and proceed with the traffic light okay this is our flow chart traffic flow to accommodate all the possible options now we'll go back to our road traffic library and drag the traffic light here you can see the traffic light block is there just drag and place it anywhere it's not necessary to place it here we can place it anywhere okay now you know you have to link everything so this traffic light it will not work until and unless you link it with something so how what are the options we are having we are having intersection stop line intersection lane connectors specific stop lines these are the different uh, modes you can use this traffic light with so for now i am just giving it an intersection linking it with the intersection by using this icon and here is my intersection okay now this is the use full part for the properties you can see all the possible options are there now you know uh, when there are phases in traffic light like green and red um, there must be a yellow phase so i'm in i'm introducing two yellow phases for every right red to green there will be a yellow phase from every green to red also there will be a yellow phase okay so i'm adding a yellow phase and another yellow phase two yellow phases and move this one to in the middle okay now the the duration in second let's make it 20 second 
this one yellow phase must be 5 second this will be 20 second and this will be 5 second it's done yes done now as we see that in our intersection we are having one two three four stop lines okay so when this side you must know the traffic rules also when this side is on in this phase this one is green and this one is green right and in second phase i want this one green and this one green okay i hope it will work let's run the model and see the change speed up okay okay right apparently it is working well so i don't know when more traffic will come maybe there will be congestion but we will stop here After traffic light, we will add one more block and that is the road network descriptor. You can read the introduction. It's an optional block. It will help you to give some statistics. So it's simple. Just drag and drop here anywhere in the network. And then uh, if you like to rename, you can rename it. But most importantly, we have to link it with our network. Just use this icon and select your available road network. Okay. Now one more thing, there you can see a density map. Just check this density map. Okay, and uh, leave all other options as it is and we'll see what will happen when we will run the model. So that's it. Just build and run. And descriptor is telling you about the number of cars present uh, in your model currently if you click you can see uh, more information green speed uh, green speed level the green area is having uh, 60 km per hour speed the red area speed is 10 km per hour as the cars are becoming slower okay so this is helpful uh, in uh, future calculations so this is it we'll stop here and uh, i hope you find this lecture useful